So now we're going to do the fourth cranial nerve, which is the trochlear nerve. And about this nerve, we know that it has one nucleus, and which is the pure. This so this is a pure motor nerve, and it has one motor nucleus. Its nucleus is present. In the midbrain at the level of inferior colliculus it is attached on dorsal aspect of the midbrain. So this is uh, an important thing to know about this nerve. This point that it is it, that it is attached on the dorsal aspect of the midbrain. Now uh, we'll do uh, its pathway. That it is the post. Uh, it originates from the poster posterior cranial fossa. Then the, it comes to the middle cranial fossa. Then the lateral wall of cavernous sinus. And then it goes to the orbit. through superior orbital fissure and it will supply superior oblique muscle. Now what happens if there is a lesion in the case of lesion we'll see that there will be paralysis of an obvious muscle that is the superior oblique muscle because that is the only muscle it's supplying. So, uh, this will be overcome by inferior oblique there will be upward and lateral movement of the eye and lateral movement of eyeball we'll see diplopia what we'll also see is that the patient tilt his head to improve his diplopia to be able to see properly to improve his diplopia and diplopia worsens
while coming downstairs. So this is it for the fourth cranial herb.